Good morning, happy Friday. I thought I would do a little vlog with me today. I just kind of woke up and I went straight to my car because I am practicing going places without putting makeup on. So I look a little rough this morning, but I was able to go through the Starbucks drive-thru, get some coffee, and everything was fine. Literally, nothing happened, and it's just all in my head. So we're gonna get to the day. just kind of go over um, the last two weeks of Disney bounding since I, it's been a while since I put up a video but I have been doing a lot of Disney bounding getting all those outfits out there and so I want to share them with you so I'm actually also going to be doing my makeup as we talk about this so first up we're gonna go for some primer um, but where I left off with the Disney bound challenge we kind of covered the whole first week that I did and then we left off with day eight which was women of pixar and what i did for that one was like a bunch of different characters uh all just women from pixar obviously and then i did the lip sync voice thing over it and i thought that was really a cute video that one was fun because it was just like a lot of different characters the next theme um was toontown which i originally thought that Toontown was opening in Disneyland on this day, but I think they pushed it back. It was just Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway that opened, but it's okay. I posted like it was open in Disneyland, but that's fine. I actually ended up sharing some old throwback pictures from Toontown in Disney World, which I thought was really cute. I texted my mom and dad and asked if they had any um, from when we used to go because I totally remember like going through Mickey and Minnie's houses and just everything was larger than life and all cartoony and it was just like really cute. I thought it was awesome and don't really know why they took it away because it was pretty cool. Um, but I'm guessing it will be coming back. The next theme was Super Nintendo World, which was kind of a rule breaker because it's not Disney. But it was March 10th, so that is Mario Day because if you spell March, M-A-R, and then put 10, it spells out Mario. Um, so it just makes sense. So what I posted for that one was a Princess Peach Bound, which actually worked out really well because I had the peach costume from when I was Peach for Halloween one year, and it just worked out really great. So then I decided to be a little bit more creative with that one, and like the photoshopping skills are not that great, but I photoshopped myself as Peach onto um, like the Mario Kart track so that her castle was in the background and, and I actually I got some DMs about that one that people liked it so let me know if you want more like sad photoshop skills to come across your feed. The next day after that was Disney Afternoon and I really didn't know what to do for this one like I, I saw a lot of people doing like DuckTales or um, just there was a lot of like really random ones that I don't really know a lot about so I didn't post that day but I saw a lot of really good Disney bound but I just I was super busy that day and I did not get around to posting which I'm trying to tell myself is okay but that's also a struggle okay the next day was the day of the Oscars so it just makes sense that the theme was Oscar nominated so I posted um, next I'm gonna put some powder but what I posted for the Oscar nominated day was a Little Mermaid bound because the Little Mermaid won two Oscars I believe I think it won for best original score for Ellen Menken he's just a genius and then also best original song I think for Ellen Menken and Howard all, both won that one um, because the songs are just so good and I wanted to highlight that plus I took the pictures in the like line for the Little Mermaid ride in Disney World so and I just love that line because it's so immersive and like you can see her castle in the background and it's really a pretty line the next day was Disney Plus day and what I did for that was just like completely random so I really had this idea in my head that I wanted to like have the Disney Plus logo uh, like in the beginning like where I'm clicking into it like you're going into Disney Plus and what you're getting is me So that was like my vision for it. Um, I feel like it kind of worked a little bit It just the transition wasn't like amazing, but I feel like you got the point point. And so I did that for Disney Plus and that one was 
was just like tons of random characters like there was no rhyme or reason to it it was just random so you should go watch that one and let me know which ones are your favorite from that Disney Plus day post I was going back and forth between just posting characters or posting like throwback photos because we were in Disney World on Disney Plus day like for the past couple of years so I have the buttons from Disney Plus day and I just like have them in my drawer um I'm, but I don't know what I would have done with them because that was just like a weird random idea so obviously I didn't do that sorry I have to get really close because I cannot see my eyebrows right now I might have to finish these off camera really quick my brows have always been a little bit tough for me because I didn't really start doing them till like a couple years ago um so I'm not the best at it but it's also just a little bit harder for me because you can't see my eyebrows. Like, if I don't fill them in, they are non-existent. Wow, that only took me like two minutes. What? Starting off um, week three, the theme was punk, prep, or jock. I thought it would be cool to do the same character, but three different like versions of an outfit for them. So I chose Buzz Lightyear because I have a um, like varsity jacket that is Buzz themed. So I was like, oh my gosh, this is gonna be perfect because I have the jock outfit already. That was such a cool theme, such a cool prompt, and I really liked that one. Let me just finish my mascara really quick because I also cannot do this on camera. Not looking horrible. Back with some eyes on. The next theme was Buddy Bounds. So what I did for that one, which was not planned at all, honestly, I did a little Winnie the Pooh bound and my friend Lizzie did a piglet bound and we honestly just showed up to Magic Kingdom both wearing these outfits and it just worked out. So this happens to us quite a lot, actually. We kind of just match and I don't know if it's just like the universe is just like you're matching today I don't know like it just happens so that happened at Magic Kingdom which was honestly perfect we went and we rode Winnie the Pooh obviously and we took some pictures in front of his house um, together and it was just perfect and also you know what was really great was Lizzie was trying to find um, those little munchlings that smell really really yummy like different desserts she wanted to find the piglet one so like right before we went and rode the ride both of us were like in the um, Main Street Emporium just like smelling boxes and people were walking past us like we were insane. So we literally, we tried picking up like as many boxes as we could and we were just smelling them. And after a point of smelling so many boxes, they kind of all start to smell the same. So I don't know, I was just like, you can't go with my nose, you have to just trust your nose. and. She got the right one, so it worked out. She has a good nose, she found Piglet, and all is well. So, the next theme was favorite Disney Parks land. So what I did for that one was just like bounds for each of the different sections of Magic Kingdom. So I think it started off with Tomorrowland because that's my favorite and I repurposed the buzz jacket again. That one got a lot of use this uh, during this week. The next theme since it was St. Patrick's Day was going green. A lot of people decided to post like green characters which made a lot more sense than what I decided to do because I just went with like green outfits um, which is not technically Disney bounding but if you watch the video you could try and place characters with them if you want I mean I I don't know they're not like super character specific but they are green specific and they kind of could be worn to the parks um, if you wanted to maybe not the suit jackets but I feel like I could rock a suit jacket to the parks. I don't know. Maybe in the like colder times. The next theme was New York City, which also I thought was a cool one because I chose to do a bound for Giselle from Enchanted because obviously she is, she lives in New York City. She like lands there. So I did her like teal outfit that she makes out of the curtains with the flowers and it has like a white underneath. Um, so I did that outfit and I really love the Disney bound that I came up with because I feel like it's super comfy, super cute, and super practical for the parks. What a lot of people commented on, I noticed in those videos, 
was the hair clips. So I have like those little butterfly hair clips that everyone and their mom has. But what I did with them is I curled my hair and I just kind of put them randomly throughout my hair because I feel like that kind of symbolized the um, like flowers on her dress a little bit. That It kind of looks like that to me. So that's what I was going for and I just think it looks really cute. The next theme was monsters and aliens. I didn't post on this day. Um, it was also one of those crazy days again. But what I would have posted was probably like a Monsters Inc. thing or possibly like something with Stitch. Those were my ideas, but just didn't get around to it. And then also the next day, um, didn't post again. So this was like two days in a row. Woo! But once again, it's okay. We're just going to get to it when we get to it. Um, but the next day was florals, flowers, and forest friends. Sorry, I'm reading from my calendar here because I wrote them all down. Did actually have a pretty, like, I thought it was a good plan for this one. I just didn't get around to filming it. And it was a, like, styling my daisy sweater, which has a bunch of flowers all over it. Just styling it in, like, six different ways. So, eventually I'll get to that video and I'll post it, but I just didn't have it ready in time for this prompt. The next day was Mickey's Many Outfits. Once again, running out of time, but like I originally wanted to do a video showcasing like tons of different outfits that Mickey wears, like not just the red shorts, yellow shoes outfit, which is classic. But I also didn't get around to it, so I just posted a generic like Mickey inspired outfit. It's just like a sweatshirt that I have that has Mickey on it and then I styled it. So it's a comfy and cute look for the parks and I would 10 out of 10 wear it again. It just wasn't my original plan. Okay this week was a little bit rough for posting because I did not post this day either but the theme was make it pink make it blue and I saw so many good posts for this one. Um, people went all out for it and I actually saw this one girl who was able to make a dress on TikTok. I forgot her name, so if you know it, please comment it down below. But she made this dress on TikTok that literally changes from blue to pink if you're in the shade or the sun. And I was like mind blown. Like the science, the engineering, like literally everything, the creativity, so amazing. Like this girl, so creative, so cool. Good job. Next day was again not one that I posted, but one that I wanted to post because it's something super important. I just didn't have time. But the theme was LGBTQAIP. And I also saw a lot of good posts like Loki and um, what is the, the kid from Strange World? His name. I forgot his name. But I just watched that movie and it's actually really cute. I, I thought it was adorable and I loved it. So good movie. Check it out. Okay, we're all caught up. We're at today. So I have not posted yet today and the theme is superheroes. I don't know if I'm going to do like an Amazon closet video or maybe I'll do a bunch of like superhero outfits. I don't know. I'm not like super good at those ones because those are like real people and I feel like it's harder to like get the outfit of a real person rather than like an animated person because the real people like like it's actual clothes. So like I should just have the actual piece of clothing you know that's how I my mind is working and if I don't have the actual piece of clothing, like, can you actually tell that it's that character, you know? You know what I'm saying? I just get all in my head about it, but no big deal. So thanks for hanging out with me for a little bit and doing my makeup. I know it was a little bit of a trust the process situation, but we're here now and we're ready for the day. I think I'm gonna go get a bagel from Panera and figure out some superhero outfits or costumes. I don't know, see you later.